hello everyone uh, welcome to the channel uh, so this video is about uh, how to make your freelancer profile strong this is uh, another video of our series of making your freelancer website strong to get awarded by the projects uh, on your bidding so uh, let's get started with the new exam HTML5 level 1 so let's get started for free later I will tell you about how to uh, give free exams on your free points uh, like in first let's have to uh, pass this test and uh, then we will go how to do it so test your skills now sorry my internet connection is a little slow so how do you declare the document type of HTML5 so we how we declare it document type dot stm next question uh, what is the correct way to enforce a link document open in the same tab same window so for this we use uh, I think we use underscore uh, self so href underscore self a target this node so this one is the uh, correct one href uh, freelancer.com target underscore next which link would open a new tab window so uh, we use target and blank we use it blank so href target blank is anyone else open it so open one is not correct the target one is correct we use the attribute target to open and the uh, value will be blank so uh, what is the correct way to display an image on a web page Ooh. so we use ing src source so this is the correct one we use the ing tag and source attribute next okay select the answer that best completes the sentence the body element uh, the body element mm, creates the container no defines the content displayed within the table no creates a floating uh, text box on the web page no defines the clickable area of an image no encapsulate the elements of the yeah this one is correct select the answer that best uh, completes the sentence the q element the q element uh, defines a short quotation This one will be it's a bit tricky. The Q element defines a short uh, short quotation uh, strikes through enclosed text. Mm, describe enclosed text. Uh, I think this one is. Defines a short questions guy yeah, Q uh, I remember it now so uh, which of the following tag is always used to create a break line we use the BR tag uh, which of the following output is italic we use the I tag mm, what is the correct tag to display text as formatted in the HTML uh, What is the correct tag to display text as formatted in HTML document?
print format print come on guys I need a little help so I think this one is print. What do you say, guys? So, what is the correct tag to create a bullet list in HTML? Bullet list, not an item that, uh, not an item in that list. So, for the bullet, we use the unordered list. Order, unordered list, and ordered list we use for the one, two, three. So, UL. Now, which of the following takes create a numbered list? by default so as I told you before is the OL order list uh, select the answer that best completes the sentence inserting div tag between the two characters uh, cause the browser to spell no return the result with the first character no cause the line break between the two characters uh, I think this one is have no impact on the page causes a space no is at this one okay select the answer that best completes this sentence inserting span between a two character will uh, will have no impact yeah will have no impact on the page uh, because it, it doesn't work like this so uh, which of the following tags are found in the head element so uh, it's meta tag we have six tags in the head that is link meta tag scripts and that was I don't remember uh, which HTML tag defines paragraph? So P uses for paragraph. Uh, which HTML tag defines the simple output from a computer program in an HTML document? Which HTML tag defines the simple output from a computer program in an HTML document? following uh, is a word uh, okay so why do elements they are using one tag like they do not need the closing tag so that is uh, empty tag which of the following example shows the correct nesting correct nesting that it takes a see closed home so let's check it uh, which one this is in closing no oh, okay em uh, Strong. U is closing. E is closing. Strong. This one is also okay. Mm. Not this one. Not this one. Not this one. I think we will go for the strong. U close or F L A P E N E M close or So okay. So select the answer that best completes the sentence. Uh, the mark element. Mark element creates an anchor. Mark uh, the mark defines a text to be highlighted. I think this one is the correct one. Select the answer and best complete the sentence. The no script 
uh, script element is displayed when no script uh, is displayed when the browser when the script is disabled we use this ok select uh, the answer that best completes the sentence the meter tag uh, meter yeah we use for a non uh, defines the measurement with a non range meter select the answer table complete the hyperlink and entire HTML tag we will use a table tag yeah those must be a table tag each uh, item within order list requires which tag order list ke beech mein har bas kaun sa chahiye we need the li for each element within the order list requires which tag li tag which uh, what is the HTML code to create mano mano what is the net what is the HTML code to create a simple text input field? Uh, input this one. Each of the following is not a global attribute. Uh, is not a global attribute. ID. Which of the following uh, tag was introduced in HTML5? was introduced in HTML5 Keegan uh, well, well, what does HTML stand for hyper text markup hyper uh, text markup language uh, what is the functional difference between HTML uh, there is in, uh, there is no difference uh, which of the following is the correct inbuilt video ok so we uh, HTML4 uh, grid so for good answer, uh, this one is correct. Uh, what attributes uh, to specify text in the input field? Uh, what attribute allows to specify default text in the input field? Uh, is not attribute of an input element introduced in the HTML. Except uh, uh, which of the following was not removed from HTML5? I frame. Which of the following was not removed from HTML5? Uh, applet. is not uh, embedded content uh, which of the following is a valid HTML tag uh, is uh, not a valid HTML tag 
uh, which of the following is not a valid uh, HTML5 tag? Uh, which of the following is a valid HTML tag? Uh, uh, which of the following is a valid HTML tag? So, hope you have done good. Correct, 80 percent. Uh, correct. We have passed the exam. Sorry, I was a bit a uh, little late in the. Um, I was stuck in a few questions, but we have done over 80 percent. So. Good luck guys and improve your profile as well. Thank you. Don't forget to share and like. Uh, also subscribe to our channel for more uh, videos and uh, on the freelance exam.